So we got our sweet feed. And uh, I was talking to Mr. Glenn Roush today. The guy's a professional fencer, custom fencing. And uh, anyways, he, he was uh, mentioning my moving the sheep with the chicken tractors and how, you know, that actually was pretty effective. And I thought, boy, coming from a, coming from a custom professional fencer, that made me feel pretty good when I'm just using a little electric netting and, uh, <laughs> and these chicken tractors to move my sheep. So we got a little bit of a uh, little bit of our sweet feed pellets here and we're gonna just try it again this is move number three really for these guys move number main move number two with the chicken tractors with the sheep so let's get them in there see what happens don't forget to turn the fence around right Glenn <laughs> By golly, we got them. Uh, all of them were in here for about five days. And this is what we want it to look like when they're done. They have, there's a lot of hoof traffic here. That's really important. And they've eaten every, um, this is where the alfalfa came from. They've eaten every leaf off, off of the alfalfa and and um it, the alfalfa actually isn't in its prime quite yet so i'm kind of holding off a little bit but they're it's going to be really really close they've eaten the the grass that's the premium grass here and they're ready to be moved and so um the other thing about it is we can we can graze it down this hard one time we're not going to come back to it this year this is it for this for the whole year, we're doing it one time. That's another big thing. If you're if you're thinking about doing it more than one time, you need to have a really short graze the very first time, and then in the later part of the summer, um, then you're gonna do it a little bit longer. So Whatever you do, don't forget the water. All right, let's let them critters out of that chicken tractor. All we gotta do is hook up the electric fence. Oh, we're not tied in over here. We gotta tie the fences together. Every time you use a new strand of fencing, I think you're good to hook up like six or something, whatever your fencer's worth. Um, but we have three here. And you have to make the connection, obviously, between each fence. And I saw here that we just missed one. I like to wrap them around, wrap them up, 
that just keeps the fencing together. And then on the other side, I don't, I don't do anything special or extra clip or anything. I just uh, put them right into each other like that, make that connection. It's it's gonna stay. It's not a problem. And if it doesn't, they get out. Oh well. I mean, who cares? Okay, we're gonna hook up our charger. Green to ground rod. Red to. Okay, we hooked we hooked the charger up, but we didn't turn it on yet, right? So we're good to stay clear. I mean, we we can cross the fence, whatever, because we don't have the charger on. We're gonna let them out, and then we're gonna pretty much turn that charger right on, right? Because if they're First thing they're gonna do is check their new area, see where they can go. They always wanna push push the limits of where they can go and at least check the perimeter. That's what we found with sheep and cows and critters. So, man, what a beautiful sunset tonight. You just, it just really makes it all, makes it all worth it. We love it. All right, let's let these guys out. Come on, Sean. <clears throat> new grass, new alfalfa, just a lot of goodness here. An amazing night tonight, except 100,000 mosquitoes flying all over because of all the rains that we've been having, the storms that we've been having. But you know what? We're really grateful for that moisture in those rains. Uh, these sheep are loving their new little paddock and we're gonna keep moving them and we're gonna keep giving them a great healthy pasture grazing lifestyle, I guess, here on 20 Acre Farms. So thanks for watching and that's another one in the books. All right. We got that last one and there's always one, you know, that wants to fight you a bit. But we don't even worry about the lambs because they're bottle lambs, they want to be around you just in case you might have something for them. So.